this gorgeous missing mom of three disappears within an hour after she appears on national TV fighting it out with her ex-fiance on the people's court. Millions of people see them argue. She goes and drops her twins off ages three, a boy and a girl, at the ex's home. She's never seen alive again. With me tonight, her father, Brad Parker. Uh, Brad, we were talking about the last message she left with you. You would never know anything was wrong. She didn't even mention being on People's Court at airing that day, but she later told people she was humiliated by it. Why was she embarrassed? Uh, she never told me. Uh, I don't. She never told me she was embarrassed. I think Dale was embarrassed. Well, you know what I've heard. Well, he should have been, Brad Parker. He's referring to Dale Smith Jr., the ex-fiancé who is now lawyered up. Uh, Mr. Parker, he's been called the primary suspect in Michelle's disappearance. What do you make of that? It don't surprise me one bit. From day one, I thought it was Dale. I mean, Michelle dropped those the twins off, and Michelle disappears in, in broad daylight. I think he planned it, uh, staged it, and... I think he, I mean, from day one, I thought he did it. So I, I would like to have some more evidence from the police, uh, the evidence from the vehicle, but they are not saying nothing right now. Brad Parker, you have stated openly you thought from day one that her ex fiance, Dale Smith Jr., is responsible. Why? What made you think that from day one? Uh, just. Uh, the way he's treated Michelle, and uh, he's actually thrown clothes out going down the road. Uh, he left her in Jacksonville all by herself. Uh, Michelle had to get a, a rental car, and she didn't have a, uh, enough money to get a rental car. And uh, they actually gave her a rental car, and she drove back to Orlando. I mean, Atlanta. And uh, he's just very abusive to her. And um, he just, you know, from. He, from day one, I thought he did it. I mean, you don't dis a woman don't disappear in broad daylight, especially with a Hummer and as pretty as Michelle is, and no one's seen nothing. You know, a another question I have is about him saying he's too busy to go out and look for her. He blamed the children. Well, he doesn't have the children now. They are in foster care. They've been taken away from him. Has he helped at any point try to find her? No, not one bit. He has not called me. Uh, he hasn't done one thing. I mean, he said something today that someone else did it, and they'll find out, but he has not said anything. And another thing, uh, Michelle was missing Thursday. Friday, he gets up and takes off to Titus, Titusville and goes to work. So I don't know if he went to work by himself or with some coworkers, and he's got a work van. You know, I asked some of the coworkers, you know, to speak up. Did he go over there by himself? Are we looking in the wrong area or what? You know what? That's an excellent point. I wonder if the search should be expanded toward Titusville. What about it, Mr. Parker? Uh, I agree. I said on TV today I want his coworkers to come forth and uh, his boss. I want uh, his uh, the business they work for, I want two weeks prior where was Dale? Dale does construction uh, in Titusville. He travels, you know, wherever they tell him to go. Does he travel by himself or with uh, coworkers? I mean, that, that may, I don't know if the police are ahead of me, but I tell you what, I'm right behind the police trying to figure out where Michelle is.